A mother fighting to keep her son's killer in jail. It was all part of a packed courtroom today for a hearing for an 18 year old convicted of murder in 2020. For the first time today, we were able to see Edgar de la, Ga de la Cruz, rather, who has aged out of the Texas juvenile system just 11 months into his sentence. A judge deciding if he stays behind bars as an adult in an adult prison or is free on parole. Erica Hernandez at the hearing where the judge made a decision and has reaction from the victim's family. More details released today into the life of 18 year old Edgar de la Cruz. The first time we're hearing some of these details for the past 11 months, he has been at a Texas juvenile justice department facility. De La Cruz is serving a 25-year sentence for the September 2020 murder of 17-year-old Sebastian Vasquez Carpio. In testimony, it was revealed De La Cruz pointed a gun at Carpio, thinking it was unloaded, and pulled the trigger. He later robbed another individual of their vehicle, put Carpio's body inside, drove out to a rural area, and lit it on fire. Texas Juvenile Justice Department Court Liaison Alana Bennett testified that when he was evaluated, he admitted to years of drug use, violent behavior, and ties with a Mexican Mexican cartel through his uncle. He shared that his uncle told him stories of how people get rid of bodies in Mexico and for the cartel, which gave him the idea of how to not get caught after shooting Sebastian. De La Cruz's lawyer says Edgar is a different person now and with strict conditions could be on parole. The judge did not agree and ordered him to be transferred to a state prison. While this was a win for Carpio's family, his mother said she will never be satisfied with De La Cruz's sentence. I will never get Sebastian back and 25 years that this individual will serve in the adult prison will never be enough for me. I will have to deal with him again in 12 years when he completes half of his sentence. Ana Maria Capio went on to say that she will continue to advocate for her son Sebastian as well as for changes in Texas juvenile system. At the Bear County Juvenile Justice Center, Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.